The Penn State Justice Center for Research formed in 2009. The center is a partnership between the College of the Liberal Arts and Penn State Outreach's Justice and Safety Institute, also known as JAZZY. It's、um, a really great partnership because, of course, crime law and justice is involved with policing and studying corrections and policing and the type of things that JAZZY is doing. And JAZZY has the connection. Connections with people in the community. Jazzy has provided training and consulting to law enforcement and domestic relations officers across Pennsylvania for 40 years. We are the sole provider of、uh, basic training to Pennsylvania's deputy sheriffs, which serves all 67 counties. Also around the country and even the world, training more than 3,000 law enforcement personnel in Trinidad and Tobago. We certainly、uh, changed how people would、uh, be selected. Uh, to、uh, to enter what they call their senior level of、uh, of management within the service because we replace that、uh, what was formerly a patronage system、uh, to a merit based system. Jazzy also works on various research projects, including a pilot program to monitor sex offenders' use of the internet. Now you have a, a sex offender who's been released from prison, you know, in the community now. In this case, under parole supervision, and、uh, you know they may be allowed to have a computer. Uh, at home,、uh, and so the issue is, you know, are they looking? You know, are they using that computer to look at anything that they are not supposed to be looking at? This software actually monitors that. Other research areas they're currently working on include crime rates in Marcellus Shale boom towns, a study on death row to see if race, gender, or ethnicity plays a role in receiving the death penalty, and a probation study that explores which punishments are most effective for people on probation. We see it as as part of our mission in terms of service to the Commonwealth.、Uh, we also see it、uh, as as a method for. Penn State to extend、uh, its its research and evidence-based、uh, knowledge to to practitioners in the field. Penn State's College of the Liberal Arts assists with all of these research programs and also works on a few of their own, including a drug rehabilitation study based out of China. They have a drug treatment program where people are committed for up to three years. And the, they release them, and find that in a very short time they've been、uh, back using drugs, and so they they know what they're doing has not been successful. The College of the Liberal Arts will take this evidence-based research and help implement new drug treatments not only in China but in other countries as well. The Justice Center for Research is also organizing Penn State's Child Sexual Abuse Conference, focusing on traumatic impact prevention and intervention. Nationally renowned experts will share their knowledge during the conference. Child sexual abuse is really prevalent. It's a national epidemic. The center feels this is one of the most important projects they've worked on. Staley says one in four girls and one in six boys will be child abuse victims. She hopes this conference will get people talking, help share information, and open the doors to prevention. We are. I think building on what Penn State already has, which is an enormous research base, very talented faculty in child and youth development, and in and things that go wrong with development. And clearly, child sexual abuse is something that's going to skew development in a negative way. And so we're trying to to build from what what are already Penn State's strengths、um, by bringing in these experts and building that evidence base, kind of showing showcasing it here. From which our faculty can then kind of move on forward as well. For more information on the Penn State's Justice Center for Research, visit www.justicecenter.psu.edu. For Penn State Outreach, I'm Erin Calandra.